Hi guys, welcome back to Vlog Media again. So in the last video a while ago, we talked about how to get funding initially. So through angel investors. Now the most important thing when you start one business is actually about a mindset, because before you enter this new world of business business, which keeps will keep you rather busy throughout your life, is actually how to get through the mindset. And getting the mindset is very, uh, what do I say? difficult if you're not open to changing your mindset. If you have this kind of mindset that's not actually fit into an entrepreneurial mindset, then the chances of you being an entrepreneur is actually zero. So, so again, majority of us, if you're studying, you have this student mindset. And if you are a young individual working for someone or for a company, then you have this employee mindset. However, this employee mindset is totally, let me say, incompatible to an entrepreneurial mindset. That's why a lot of uh, employees out there who wanted to have a business can't proceed because they don't have, or rather they lack the so-called entrepreneurial mindset that you need to have a business degree like I did four years ago, like an MBA program, to somehow take a sneak peek over this kind of entrepreneurial mindset. Now, first, we'll discuss how a, being an employee actually is can be disadvantageous if you want to set up or if you're looking for a business because being employee is a different mindset compared to a business mindset or entrepreneurial mindset as I mentioned earlier so uh, I'm not saying that uh, employees being an employee is actually a bad thing it's actually in fact a really good thing for a number of reasons one it provides stability and income depending on what your work is it provides the daily needs as a result or in exchange for your work, you get the salary for you to spend and something to live on. It's called earning a living, basically. However, being an employee does have its disadvantage if you wanted to start a business or have this entrepreneur mindset. So in my computer down here below, I'm gonna list it down to you the why is it disadvantageous when it comes to changing your mindset from an employee mindset into a entrepreneurial mindset. So the first thing of which is that mm, so being an employee, most of us, I'm not saying all, okay, have a limited growth mindset. Meaning limited growth mindset because we work eight to four or eight to five. But the mindset towards that is how to get through the day and the, and the end goal is actually get a salary. So that's actually the uh, uh, the limited potential of being an employee because being an entrepreneur, it may be the other way around. The second one is actually a dependence on direction. So most employees are dependent on a certain direction because every company has its own vision and mission. So this vision and mission actually gives them the direction. However, if you are wanted to become an entrepreneur, yeah, you have a different direction which might not actually coincide with the direction or mission vision to what you're working for in a company. So therefore a limited depend or dependence on a direction. And the third is uh, the perspective can be narrow, especially if you're busy throughout the day and that the perspective towards a getting a business idea it seems to be very narrow. A lot of my friends have been talking about getting a business, but they don't know how to start because of that kind of thing. You know, like when you're working and you tend to be, of course, focused on the work, but you can't get yourself out of it because to think of other things to do. And therefore, it kind of limits your perspective on setting up your own business or goals and plans. Another one is, um, yeah, lack of ownership. So since you're working for someone, you don't own the business, you don't own the company, and therefore you don't have that kind of uh, exclusivity to take care of the whole uh, business, business as a whole because you're working as an employee. So yeah, it's more difficult, yes, for the business owners as well. As you're an employee, you don't have that ownership. So you don't have that kind of mindset to own the big business, which you must have when you're actually ha have this, um, uh, this uh, uh, entrepreneurial mindset. Okay, here's another one most important thing is actually the uh, limited compensation. So 
unless of course you're a uh, very successful individual in your in your company that you're one of those CEO employed by the, by the company you might have a very good salary however most of us don't have a good salary because uh, we're down the line and uh, so limited compensation is actually what limits uh, you to, to have something that you want to have so yeah so limit compensation now the only thing about limited compensation is that you have to work more hours to get more compensation and that's actually directly proportional to the number of, of hours that you work in contrast when you are actually a entrepreneur you tend not to multiply the number of hours based on what you can do but you can actually multiply the number of opportunities that you can have per uh, plan that you do so so it's not directly proportional, but it's actually exponential rather. So I got some friends who actually work almost every day just to get things go by, which is not really a wrong thing because they provide for their families. However, if you want to become a ent entrepreneur, you trade your time for opportunities, but you don't trade your time for a fixed amount of money. So trade your time for opportunities okay, out there. Another one is a reduced innovation. So employees tend to have a reduced innovation because of what they do from eight to five. And you need to free your time because the thing is that um, being an employee limits you to think because your number of hours is actually limited because you're working most of the time. And uh, one thing you can circumvent that is actually to free the number of hours that you have in order to create that kind of thought process to begin with. So, yeah. Another one is hierarchy dependence. So, yep, every employee is subjected to a so-called BOSS, a boss. And, of course, it depends what the boss says and the boss says what you do. So, there's always a dependence on that kind of hierarchy, which is kind of a disadvantage to being an employee. And another one is the mindset towards failure. Now, um, employee always scared of doing the failure because they might get fired of a job, whereas an entrepreneur looks for potential things that they learn from the previous mistakes. Being a uh, entrepreneur is also a difficult thing because they know for a fact that most of the time they will fail, but that mindset of being an entrepreneur is that every failure that you do that you have, you will actually step back and rethink and redraw the drawing board in order for you to be more successful. Yes. And the last thing is, well, it steals your time. So you don't have a lot of time. It steals a lot of your time, which is actually stealing your wealth. So we'll discuss wealth next time, but these are actually the uh, the limitations uh, if you are actually an employee. And there's actually some ways to circumvent that, which we'll talk about in the next video. But again, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I only have limited number of followers. But all I know what I can do here is actually to help you guys with personal development and setting up your own business. I myself, I want to create my own company. So yeah, and while I'm also trying to get more videos out and to motivate people there. So guys, see you in the next video. And thank you very much for watching this topic. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.